Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we have a few changes on the way for tomorrow. We're going to turn down the temperature a little bit, but turn up the humidity a little bit. A bit of a trade-off going on. Today's 94 degrees for a high temperature. In case you were wondering if it was a record or not, it was not. Actually, not that close. Our record for today, 102 degrees set in 2010. A very warm day several years ago, but still warm today, that's for sure. Now, with the humidity tomorrow, will come some potential fog in the morning and also the chance of an isolated strong thunderstorm, primarily in the afternoon and primarily in northwest Rhode Island. We'll talk more about that in just a second. It stays unsettled throughout the week. We're not talking about any washouts, but the chance of showers and thunderstorms each and every day all the way through Saturday. So we were talking about the humidity. Well, it stays muggy tomorrow. In fact, muggier tomorrow with dew points in the upper 60s. Today we were in the mid 60s, which isn't terrible. I mean, it's still sticky, but tomorrow you notice it more. Friday, not quite as bad, but still humid and then a little muggier on Saturday. Eventually, we do work to the more comfortable weather, but it does take until the beginning of next week for that to happen. Newport, this is a spot where we have very good visibility right now. However, very early tomorrow morning, it may not look this way as some patchy, dense fog moves in, and that'll kind of fluctuate off and on throughout the morning. For the rest of us, we'll be looking at a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Right now, we're in the mid to upper 70s, 77 in Providence, 73 in Smithfield, and 73 in Westerly. And with all the humidity around, it's going to be hard for those temperatures to drop very much more. So kind of a mild, somewhat sticky night for sleeping with winds right now relatively light out of the southwest between about 5 and 10 miles an hour. Nothing doing on live pinpoint Doppler 12, but things are unsettled to our west. Notice this line of storms. This will die off a little bit overnight and then refire with some of the heating of tomorrow. Center of low pressure will help drag this through and that will keep at least the chance of a shower or storm in the future cast for tomorrow. Now, anywhere we have a chance of seeing a shower storm, but from Providence, to the north and west up through, say, Smithfield, Cumberland, Woonsocket, even through Attleboro, you have a better chance of seeing the shower or storm than the coast. But the majority of the day, it's not actually raining. And any particular storm could be strong with some gusty winds and some pretty heavy downpours. So it's something to keep an eye on for tomorrow. At the beach, the chance of a shower or storm is fairly low, but it's still there. Mid-70s for high temperatures, significantly cooler than what we saw today with more of an onshore wind and the potential of some morning fog. We will also see the potential of some morning fog on the water. If you're thinking of doing some early morning fishing, well, you know, you may have some rough visibility early. Waves around one foot, high tide around 11 o'clock in the morning. All right, a few things to go over here in the seven day future cast. On Friday, notice the showers coming out of the clouds here. It's a little cooler, still muggy, with a chance of a shower thunderstorm, but I think they would be late arrivers, so the daytime hours should stay dry. Saturday is unsettled. Best chance of a shower storm would be during the morning hours, and it's cooler with highs in the upper 70s. And then on Sunday, a slight chance of a shower. Not a big enough a chance for me to put the raindrops on the screen just yet, but definitely just uh, keep that in mind where we could see a few lingering showers and it will also be a little less humid. But the humidity really starts to drop into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with mostly sunny skies and high temperatures around 80 and our morning temperatures getting back into the upper 50s and low 60s. But you can really feel that weather pattern changing. You know, last week we had a lot of mornings which almost felt like fall in the mm. 50s and 60s. Now it's more summer like with the low temperatures around 70. All right, Pete, thanks. An important news alert for you now a hot toy is being.